let's try something a little bit. What's probably confused you a little bit is there's too many objects to pay attention to. There's four cars, five coins. I cannot possibly keep track of all those things. That's why you fooled me because you confused me. That's what you're thinking. If that's not what you're thinking, that's what you should be thinking. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate a few things. We'll eliminate the cars. We'll eliminate some of the coins here. And we'll get rid of the other one. So now we have uh, some coins. That they, and we're going to do something here. I'm going to borrow a ring here. There we go. And we'll just use two coins, one ring, ten fingers, and a lot of imagination. Here we go. I place a coin, a ring, and a coin over here. Watch. Did you see what happened? Absolutely nothing. It just looks weird. <laughs> you still have one coin in this hand, you still have the other coin in the uh, ring in the other hand. Now the hands don't go anywhere near each other. Yeah, you can see there's nothing going up by sleeve or anything there. But would you like to see some cool magic? This is cool. That is cool. <laughs> Alright. So what we're going to do, cool. let's eliminate the ring now and just use two coins. Now it's very easy to pay attention to do coins now, right? Okay, there it comes. Okay. Coin, right? Right? Yep. No, that's left. <laughs> <laughs> what we do is take the coin, you give it a little squeeze, and throw it up your sleeve, around your back, and uh, out the other sleeve, just like that. Uh. You what probably confused you, there's too many coins! Can you keep your eyes on one coin? Not so sure, I